I am here with Cicely, and we are looking at, um, what's the name of this game? Do we have a name? I had a name, and then I started over, and now I don't have a name, so... We're gonna... So what the hell am I going to title this when I upload it? Uh... Green Man. Green Man? Okay, codename Green Man. <laughs> um, you've been using RPG Maker, say, a week? Week, week and a half, something like that. Um, so, completely new to RPG Maker. Mm -hmm. Completely new to writing the code yourself, too. Yes. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to do a check-in here. Uh, this is Dev Diary 1 on Green Man. Where are we at? What's going on? Okay, so I've been recently just uh, working on getting the uh, story uh, written down in, on paper form because it's hard to go back and forth for me, or it's sometimes a little bit harder to just write stuff while I'm on the... Um, so are you saying that you're attempting to like plan out the game before you just start making the game? There is a finger for you, sir. <laughs> That's not the way we do shit. <laughs> Fuck words. We just start making the game, and so it, I started making good. At I some stay, point. started making the game, and now I'm trying to make it good by planning the rest of it. All out. right. <clears throat> what do we got going on here? This is the opening screen. Yeah, this is opening screen. I haven't gotten it exactly the way I want it to because nobody has found a fix to make it the main character not appear when you have it on the as the start. And so I'm afraid to take the starting position out because I'm not certain it would know where to start. <laughs> but, well. So if you run it, what do we get right now? Is it is it runnable? It's runnable. It's fully runnable. It does not break yet. All right. So what do we got? Anymore. <laughs> okay. So start it. Yeah. Okay. I haven't changed the intro screen yet, so you still get this... Green man, but I've made some art for that. Yeah. So see, it disappears and then it starts all that. And then she starts talking and uh, walks around and it's just all sad. So you're you're frozen in the ice here. Uh-huh. I can't read any of that. I know. There's. I've gone through almost all 32 colors available and not found a good thing yet. And then this gives you control of the character for a second so you can talk to her. I still can't make her excitedly scream. It's not worked yet. Okay, so that wasn't like she was afraid of you. That was like she was expecting that to happen. Okay. But I made her disappear. And then you start in here. Now, did you just enter through the fireplace? No, that's just where they start you in that one. Um, I'm going to make some a uh, script that when you try to go this way, it says, I should talk to the elder. Or just... So will he give you a sword and tell you it's dangerous to go along here, take this? No, it, he's going to tell you... Talkity talk goes here, okay. <laughs> where I said I should plan shit. <laughs> and where he's like, one, I don't know that you're the guy, the person of legend. I don't care that we heard an earthquake. Yada, yada, yada. I've got shit to plan here. And then I want the, the first girl, Anya, to come run off the screen and be like, I've got to go find some stuff. And, uh, or something or another. Um, this is the Black Elder, Black Wolf Elder Woman, and uh, she sends you on your first quest, um, finding a hiding spot for the children. And I got her to when she finishes talking like that, she randomly moves about, and then when you talk to her, she's like, maybe one of the other people, towns people, know where. It and she loops on that one until the next time. I was proud of myself for that. And then there's little signs here in each of the houses. Um, you just won't go in the girl's room? <laughs> 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 
So I was a little happy about. You're trying that. to relate to the male nerd JRPG <laughs> audience. <laughs> Even something they can identify with. Yeah. When you go down here the first time, I'm going to funnel the player. So, like, right here is going to be a dog, wolf, tame thing that's going to be sleeping here. And you're going to walk up to it and it's going to say, I don't think I should wake him. <laughs> and so you'll be forced to go out the patio. And, uh... There'll be children playing on the bridges, uh, so you can't go down the bridges to the main street. And then this one, I haven't figured out if this is going to be a main side crest. Or... So this is a land of cat people? They're wolves. F you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Get it straight. Now, I was going to make these bear things be super special, like some sort of special teaser opener, but I haven't figured out how to make that, what uh, or how to make that yet. So I've just made them creepy. Squeeze me, bears. And then purr. Don't know why you like me. I detest felines. <laughs> And this will be the reason why the kids are down in the streets. It's because mom says, I gotta stay up here. So it may, it'll make more sense that there's children blocking your way. And I want to make some sprites for that. I haven't made Main Street yet. I'm gonna make, put a crazy old lady over here blocking your way to Main Street down that way. I've got most of this planned out. Um, I think there's going to be something down here, but I don't know what yet. I need to figure out how to make a railing here so that you're not walking on what is supposed to not be walked on. These, One of these is going to turn into an event so that once you find where to hide the children you can actually get down there. And then this is an event where this is your cousin's uh, old gear. But you can't get it yet because you can't sit in the chair. And back here you're going to read something in this uh, book I don't have the words there yet. And then you're going to come talk to this old the old man who's going to be sitting right here. And he's going to tell you, go talk to yada yada. I think he might know something. And you'll go out into the town proper. That'll open up all the rest of the town. Oh yeah. These wolf statues were my first attempt at making my own sprites. Oh, so those are yours? Those are mine. Mine, oh mine, oh mine. <laughs> <laughs> Happy. <laughs> and then we immediately reused them outside. As many times as possible. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and I don't have Main Street yet. And it's going to be out this way. I'm thinking about changing downstairs to in this one to more of a library state. Because the deal is that nobody really lives in the White Wolf uh house anymore because of whatever. Alright, so this is what's working so far. This is what's working so far. Right. And you see those little fish tiles under... There's fish uh, swimming in the uh, ponds. Would those be koi? Those are koi. Nishikigoi. And I did that. Me. <laughs> I made it work. Mostly. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> They're kind of dead and floating on the surface, but... They're underneath. Belly up. No, they're shiny side. Those are ki um, Kingen. They're not moving. Of course they're not moving. You know what? Forget you. <laughs> Forget you. I made them. They're there. They're pretty. And some of them don't move for a while. So there. 
Alright, let's jump back to the RPG Maker. Let's see some of your, your scripting. What have you worked on? So what would be an interesting bit to look at? Okay. Well, first we'll start with the one that doesn't quite work. God in heaven, undo. Uh, this one. Okay. This is supposed to be the surprise event that does not work even in parallel process. This one is that first that starts off her moving along and that took a while and getting her to wait that long meant that most people's reading speed is accounted for. If you're just scrolling through um, just pressing the button to make her go she doesn't uh, get to the spot that she want that I want her to get to because I named this control switch on your touch. That's where she's supposed to touch the statue. Um, but this part did work. This is where she's running off. So two out of three, not half bad. Um, this is the control vent that changes the transparency on the on the ice? Yes. It doesn't actually show anything itself. It's just controlling transparency of the ice and of the character. This one is the ice itself. And there are 32 colors available. The standard and whatnot and just all that crap. But I've written out... Uh, my own list of what the colors show as and none of them seem to be effective. I think you might have to put some background to it or dim the entire screen if you can just dim it somehow. That might work. I can dim the screen. But not the text going yeah. across, yeah. It, it, it's, they're separate, thankfully. And then afterwards it's just, it's rubble! You finish talking, self switch A turns on, you turn to rubble. And this is the one where it shows not all of these actually seem to work apparently, because it's supposed to play a sound effect, wolf howling, but it doesn't. Um the quake plays um I've tried the wolf in front of the quake and it still doesn't play. Or the quake doesn't play when the wolf plays. I'm not certain. Uh, it doesn't like to play both of them at the same time. For no but the collapse does work, irregardless of what the wolf does or does not do. So and what are your uh, thoughts on RPG Maker now that you spent about a week with it? Needlessly convoluted, like I had made it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you, did you... It's like either I made it or somebody way smarter than me who thought, oh, they'll just figure it out, uh, made it. Like the whole, I know, because I looked into it when you were asking about it, but the whole way they handle layers just seems stupid. Yes, yeah, so. So what you have is you have, if I understand it, you have a you have layer tile per tile sheet. Yeah. So, like, all A is on the same layer, and all B is on the same layer. And it's not exactly so, because, um, let's see. That is a tile and will cause other stuff to happen. But this is on top of a tile. Somewhat. I mean, like, you can still see the boards underneath that tile. Um, and then other tiles are just unwalkable, but that's some tiles are slightly above other tiles and some tiles aren't. Because like over here, this one, this is the one I use for my soot and door stops. It's like it's on top of the other tiles, but it's on the same layer. But this one is not. And I don't understand what's going on there. Probably something to do with that database screen. 
Probably so. For somebody that hadn't seen that, open that database screen up. SF9. Yeah. So, probably some of the way that those tiles... Okay, in tier. There we go. In one of these settings might control... I mean, like, this one is the one... This one says, okay, you can walk on this one. This one says, no, you can't walk on it. But maybe, like, bush setting or something is what controlled whether it erased it or stacked on it. I don't even know what terrain tag is. I don't either. But I was thinking, like, bush or damage floor might be why that one smudge... Oh, no, that's that's you take damage, I think. Countertops. Huh. I didn't see that. So that makes that a whole... So that might be... <laughs> yeah, so it's really weird... How everything... How all works. this is set up. And I think you're right. Like, this... It doesn't seem... It's complicated in ways that it It's needlessly be. complicated. It is not sat down and thought and, like, thought through the process. Because um, a lot of this stuff you access in this screen. But it'd really be handy if you could just edit some of that stuff um, in the sheets. Not having layers, I think, is, is stupid. Um, just to be able to place and arrange things. It's kind of crazy. But other than that, it's pretty easy, pretty easy for just for you to start. There's some tiles that I wish it had that I've gone back in and started trying to make. There's some tiles that I've gone and found from other people. There's tiles that I've uh, adjusted from other people's um, in the Frankensteinian manner. And, made my own little, little uh, edits to them. Like this one. This one is a conglomerate of stuff that I got off of somebody else's page that I smashed together and then I created that little book that's on that shelf. Um, so it's a mashup page. Like Those are scrolls that you can just put on the floor or put on a table. And then this countertop I'm still working with so that it will work with this one. But it's going to be where you go from this one, and it dead ends, and then you can come into that one. All right. Anything else you want to show off or parts you've been working on we didn't show? I don't think so. I think we talked to everybody that I've made talky. Yeah. I think that's it. Uh, not... Here's my little wolf. You can walk behind them. So how did you, so if you, if you made them, did you just edit an existing sheet and put them on that? Or did you add that to a sheet? I added it to a copy of the sheet so that I would still have the sheet to begin with. There okay. are some angel statues that were right here, left and right. And I was like, okay, I can do this. And I had this grand idea in my head of making the the uh, full moon wolf statue and then the dark moon human statue... And then a central uh, replacement for this one, where you'd have a wolfman in front of a uh, black and uh, black and a uh, full moon behind it. But I haven't gotten to that one yet. That one's going to take a little work and planning, and I'll figure that out later. <laughs> All right, everyone. Uh, this has been uh, Codename Green Man uh, first check-in. Uh, thanks for watching.